I'm a cut type of coach that asks for a lot from my team. Um, in fact, um, I talk a lot about I want, I want our, everything. I want their whole heart. I want um, their time. I want their energy. I want their enthusiasm. I want um, them to want to be there. Um, I want their social time. I want their academic time. I want their spiritual time. Um, and I obviously want their physical time in the wrestling room and in the weight room. Um, and when I think about what it means to give everything, um, I like to, to relate that certainly back to my walk with Jesus Christ. Um, I don't think that Jesus wants us to be halfway in and halfway out. I do believe that, that being a Christian is not just saying a prayer and a fire escape from hell. Um, I think being a Christian is surrendering absolutely everything in my life um, to, to the lordship and kingship of Jesus. Um, I look at a, a passage of scripture in Matthew, um, when, Math, when Jesus talks to a rich young ruler and it says in Matthew 19, just then someone came up and asked him, teacher, what good must I do to have eternal life? Why do you ask me about what is good, he said to him. There's only one who is good. If you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. Which ones, he asked him. Jesus answered, do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor your father and mother, and love your neighbor as yourself. I've kept all these, the young man told him. What do I still lack? If you want to be perfect, Jesus said to him, go sell your belongings and give to the poor and you'll have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When the young man heard that command, he went away grieving because he had many possessions. Um, I like to reframe that when I, when I talk to uh, a group of, of wrestlers um, and I, I like to retell that story a little bit with a little bit of my poetic license, what I feel like maybe Jesus said things like and the rich young ruler said things like. So when this guy comes up to Jesus and says, what do I gotta do to have eternal life? I, I see it as Jesus being like, all right, you know what you have to do, like follow these commandments. But when the rich young ruler says, well, which ones? And Jesus answers him. And then the rich young ruler, I, I, I picture him getting excited, like, oh, I got it. And he's like, oh, I've done all that. This is good. And then I see Jesus kind of being like one of these, like, hmm? oh, you're serious about this. What do you still lack? Oh, okay. I'm excited now because you're serious about the Christian life. You're not just like, what do I got to do to be a national champion coach and it's lip service? I'll bring it back to wrestling and I'll say, that's what I hear. Guys come in, what do I got to do to be a national champion coach? I'm like, we got a program. You know, you come to practice, you do the lifts, you follow the instructions, you, you, you go through our schedule. Like, you know what you got to do. Here it is. But when I hear a wrestler go, all right, coach, I'm doing all that, like, like, but I know I'm missing something. What else can I do? What more can I do? Then I kind of do one of those second takes. And I say, oh, you're serious about this. Well, you got to commit to eight hours of sleep. You got to cut out sugar from your diet for the rest of the year. You got to tell your girlfriend that, you know what? I'm going to have to take things back a little bit and I'm going to have to really be disciplined with my time. We're going to have to make some sacrifices in our, in our social time because I'm really serious about being this national championship thing. You're going to have to listen to the coach when I say, stop doing that move. It's not working for you. Even though you've done it forever, we need to do this move instead. When somebody comes to me and says, what do I still lack? I said, oh, you're serious. You're willing to give everything? Here it all is. And just like that rich young ruler who said, what do I got to have to do with eternal life? You know, what do, I got, what do I have to do? And Jesus says, well, everything. Go take everything that you love and sell it. The things you're holding on to too tight that are more important than me, get rid of them. Give them away. That will free you up to follow me with everything. And in the same way, I'll, I'll look at the wrestler and I'll see them kind of like, oh, I can't give up that coach. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. I'll relate that again back to my wrestlers as they follow Jesus. What, are you, what is Jesus asking you to give up? It's not always possessions. That might not be the thing for some people that they're holding on so tightly that they wouldn't give it to God. Maybe it's that relationship that you shouldn't be in. Maybe you're dating a non-Christian um, other and, and that's just not the person that God wants you, you to be with because they're taking you away from him. Maybe it's um, the, the um, entertainment that you're looking at, um, the, the type of music you're listening to or the movies and, and stuff that you're watching. Maybe it's your friend group. Um, you know, there could be lots of things that are those, and some, some of those things are very clearly um, against what the scripture tells us to do, but sometimes it's like your career choice. Maybe God's calling you into a major or, or a career choice that doesn't look flashy and is not going to make you a lot of money. But when God asks you for everything and you are willing to give it, then that is truly following him in a way that is a, that is a Christ-like Jesus follower. 
But when people aren't willing to make those, whatever that might be, those little sacrifices or that big sacrifice, because they're willing, they, they just want to hold on to it. It's just, they walk away sad because it was too much to give up. That's a point in time where I'm just not sure if that person's really following Jesus. So I just challenge you in your wrestling and in your walk with Christ, um, to do a little personal inventory. What is the everything that you're being asked for? And are you willing to do it? Are you willing to give it up? so that you can follow him um, in, in fullness.